Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion, and with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What we're going to be showing you in this video is an overview and benchmarks for the ASUS RT-AC56U router. It is an 802.11ac router with 2x2, uh, and is a 2x2 solution, so it has two antennas transmitting and two antennas receiving. What this means is you can get up to 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band and 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So let's take a closer look at the router itself and I'll tell you about some of the features it has. Here we have a closer look at the RTAC56U router from ASUS. As you can see, it has their typical black diamond finish on it that they put on most of their networking products. The foot on it is permanent and um, it does sit on a desk like this. There is no wall mounting capability if you were looking for that. Down in the bottom right corner, we've got the model number and also the ASUS logo here. And on the front, you've also got LED lights for the USB 3 port, the USB 2 port, LAN, WAN, 2.4 GHz radio, 5 GHz radio, and the power light. On the rear of it, you can see you've got the ASUS logo in the uh, vents, and through that ASUS logo, you can see a red heatsink. That red heatsink is used to keep all the chipsets cool. This does contain a a nine, dual core A9 Cortex processor in it with 256 megabytes of DDR3 memory. It also has 128 megabytes of NAND flash memory for storing the uh, firmware on it. On the back here, you've got your model number as well, and all your default settings are here in the corner. So when you first turn it on, the factory defaults are right here so that you know exactly what you're looking for and your serial number MAC address sticker here also. You can also see you've got four LAN ports. These are all gigabit rated and a gigabit WAN port as well as a USB 2 port and USB 3.0 super speed port. A reset button and a power button. If you hold the reset button for five seconds it will reset to factory defaults. You've got your power plug and then on the side of it a WPS button for Wi-Fi protected setup and the radio on off button you can turn the wireless on and off with this uh, if you didn't want it on for some reason. With these USB ports on the router you can connect all types of things up a storage device uh, or 3G, 4G modem for internet connection sharing or you can even use it for printer sharing. Now the storage devices if you plug them into the USB 3 port which uh, you'll see we tested in the benchmarks um, you're gonna have plenty of speed to be able to stream anything you want off of that especially using some of the special features of the router such as the AI cloud disk which allows you to uh, use this as storage and access your disk through the network. To some degree, you're creating a NAS, Network Attached Storage Device, by plugging a, a hard drive into, this, into the uh, USB port here. With the 2x2 solution, as far as speed, you have a maximum of 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band and 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Now, those can be continuous, you know, and work together, so it doesn't matter or concurrent so it doesn't matter how many devices you have on either band you're still it's still able to push out that amount of power some other special features are the AI radar which uses the beam forming technology for AC for the 802.11 AC to push the signal strength towards where the uh, devices are located giving you a stronger higher speed signal in that area. You've also got the AI Cloud as we mentioned before and 
you've got 300,000 sessions that can be going on at any given time. You've got VPN capability on here, a download master server to allow you to download with the router itself to a storage device that's plugged in rather than having to leave a computer on if you're downloading something. You've also got the AI disk and DDNS which is dynamic DNS so most internet connections are, have a dynamic IP address and what the DDNS allows you to do is set up a host name something that's readable to be able to access your network from outside the network easily. All of that's built into the router and I will show you the user interface and you can check that out in another video. But now, let's check out the benchmarks. As you can see from the benchmarks, the router performed very well, especially on the 5 gigahertz band. You also have a two-year warranty that comes with the router. And best of all, it features the ASUS WRT firmware, which is a very user-friendly interface and makes life very easy when setting up the router. Only about 30 seconds to, uh, to set it up if you're rushing through it a little bit. And you've also got the latest support for WPA2 for encryption as well as even radius support which is more of an enterprise technology. So let's take a look at the accessories that come with it. First you've got your power adapter, your power brick It's pretty small, um, plugs in pretty easily. One thing they've improved with this model is the end of the uh, power plug is quite a bit larger so you're much less likely to break it off. You also have a quick start guide in multiple languages, a warranty notice for registering this um, router on the internet. You have the ASUS support CD which has your full manual on it and they also include a Cat5e cable with the router. One thing to note is you don't need um, any CDs or utilities to be able to set this up you just plug it in and you can either connect to it wirelessly from a tablet or your phone to to run through the setup or plug in hardwire a PC in or wirelessly connect with a PC and you'll automatically be forwarded to the page setup page or you can go to the address that's on the back of it in the bottom corner there to be able to run the setup yourself. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and benchmarks for the RTAC56U router from ASUS. As you can see it performs very well especially on the 5 gigahertz band when paired with an AC wireless adapter. For the full review please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.